Grand Rising, Grand Rising. Yes, sir, it is another one. Another beautiful day to be alive. Oh, it's a beautiful day to die. I should say, everybody says it's a beautiful day to be alive, man. It's a beautiful day to die. It's a beautiful day for all that. For all that. Yeah. We still here, man. We still here. It's only two months in, man. It's only two months in. Only two months in, man. We just getting started. We just getting started. How we dropping in today? Just know, again, my disclaimer is always health brings wealth. At least that's what I think in my opinion. Put it to you like that. But I do believe that, and it has worked for a lot of people. So, hey, if you want it to work for you, by all means, get on that. Please. Another thing, baby, what we coming with today. I think y'all going to enjoy. I think y'all going to like. One thing that's about me is transparency. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm right, I'm right. It don't matter. I'm never I have never been a person to say that I'm the 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 one that's right, that one that got the keys because it's it's so much information where you can go and do the research, you can go and look it up, you can go and put the research into practical practice. And that is what we're talking about today. Research, information gathering, studying. Being studious, focused, long enough to get things done, right? So, how is this going to help us with our spiritual development? Because we have to research spiritual, uh, spirit for, for we have to research for spiritual growth and for spiritual guidance, right? The only reason why I can be as spiritual and as conscious as I am, whether I'm putting in the practical practice or not. Is through the information and the research. Some things I put in practical practice. Some things I do not. I'm human. I'm not. I'm not out here trying to be perfect. I'm out here trying to be as spiritual as I can be because I don't see no other. I don't see no other flex in this world that's harder than a spiritual person. You get me? So when it comes to being spiritual, get the information. Get the consistent right information. Don't be lazy in your research. Don't believe just one person. We have a big communication problem in the world and on the planet that we live in. I'm talking about the masses. When it comes to the masses, we have a miscommunication problem. And so if we if you know we have a miscommunication problem, meaning that everything does not get communicated properly or does not get communicated on time to the masses of people who it will then affect in the long run, then the masses of people need to do their own research and show humility in that research and really focus and crack down on some things. I get it. Everybody not woke. Everybody not intellectual. We got a lot of walking dead out here. But, but every day, a mind is shifting. Every day, a heart is shifting. A heart is transforming. A mind is transforming. Somebody is transforming. So, it is our duty. I ain't going to say it's our duty. But for some of us, we feel obligated to go and do the studies. Do the, do the studies. Put it in practical practice the best, we, best way we can. And then come back and relay the information. Regurgitate the information. The truth is out here. The truth is here. Whether you want to accept it, believe it, or not, it is here. Because it is hidden does not mean it is not here. You just have to go find it. You have to do the due diligence, man. You have to really dig deep in your spirit. Some things you can't do physically. Some things you don't got the power to do physically. You just not in the right head space. Your heart just not in it. So you really have to tap, tap in physically. I'm not physically, but spiritually. And tap in to that other dimension. Tap into that other realm, into that other world to really help you elevate in the physical world. Right? We all know that some of us, even though we 30, 40 something odd years old, we still have short intention spans. 
We in our 20s, we still got short attention spans. So we got to get the extra help spiritually. Now you got to do your research spiritually. You have to, and you got to look within yourself and get a relationship with the inner you. Let me say that again. Get a relationship with the inner you. Get some type of mono dialogue in your head where you can talk to yourself without speaking out loud. You can have a conversation within yourself in the midst of craziness to be able to calm yourself down. But you have to work on this. This isn't this isn't uh this isn't something that you just gonna be able to the the watch and just just pick up on it. No, you gotta practice, 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 and research everything don't I, my last video my last video uh i believe was questioning everything well one of my videos was questioning everything one of my last videos was questioning everything and you want to do that within your research you want to make sure you're questioning everything everything you're doing the research you're going in you're doing your own due diligence even if it's five minutes a day man five minutes a day is way more than the average person is doing out here. So we can put five minutes a day aside to grow spiritually, whether, whether it's through spiritual research, whether it's through meditating, whether it's through um, the simple prayer that I went over, you, over. And prayer isn't no complicated thing. It's thanks, it's having being thankful and asking for clarity in things that you do not understand. So when you sit and meditate in the spirit, you can begin to formulate answers. We have the information, Akashi records. Ancient civilizations tell you what is going on. The Bible tells you what is going on. Now you have to cipher through the lies. You gotta cipher through the lies. Religion do lie because you must rely on that. It must. Religion has to stay alive through the masses of the population by relying on that particular uh, cultivation of spirit. Because it's, religion isn't all the way spirituality. It's a cultivation of a particular spirituality that is very miscommunicated. Some of them. Some of them are communicated very well, but we lose it in mythology. We'll believe the Bible but we then we will not believe the Greek mythology that predates the Bible. We call it a myth. It's, 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 it was here and it was gone and it never happened, but they are one and the same. So this is what I'm saying. Spirituality is very is, is, is predicated on your research and your knowledge and the science behind these things. You understand what I'm saying? We use certain words today that they did not use in the past. So certain things that we would consider that we wouldn't consider spiritual are very much spiritual. You get what I'm saying? So we have to do the research. We have to get the information. Even if they lie to your face, get the information so then you can come and compare it to something and realize that they lie to your face. But you have to do the comparison. And the thing about the spiritual is like I said in, one, in my last video, is about darkness. The one thing about this and being in the spiritual realm, you have to understand where everything started from. You cannot be scared to go into the darkness. Yea, as I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I shall fear no evil. That there is talking about the deeper realms of spirituality. We think it's talking about, oh, I gotta go walk through the hood and pray I don't get shot off as I go to this board meeting and uh, go to court. No, no. We are in the spiritual realm. We are in the spirit. If, if you have to understand and you gotta really sit in the spirit when you dealing in scripture, especially if you dealing with one book and you're not willing and get out your comfort zone to grow spirituality, to grow your spirituality, whether, whether, whether it's in that religion or whether it's outside that religion or all the religions together, however you gonna get down, you gotta get the information. You cannot get it from one book. Especially, especially if you don't understand certain things. Like for instance, the Bible. I gotta go on the Bible because that is my foundation. 
Meaning that that was my spiritual foundation. That is what I grew up on. That is what I based all religion off of. And that's how I cipher through the lies. Not saying that I am a Christian. Understand? So the Bible, for instance, we know, we all know this. If you are a Christian, you know there are Bible, there are books missing from the Bible. Not only that, every so couple years, every few years, they are changing version of the Bible. So how are you going to sit here and tell me that you can believe, believe, understand what I'm saying? Go back on my video about belief. You can sit here and believe, right? And don't turn that belief into a knowing. And then you know that the, how the system is and you know how things have changed through the millennia, not just through hate and people just not liking certain people, but through miscommunication through propaganda because we still have this problem till this day we are very still confused as a people in 2022 and you got to get yourself awake you got to be awake you can't even be woke no more you got to be you not i ain't gonna say awake i'm gonna say you gotta rise like you gotta rise because everybody is the walking dead now you have to rise to the occasion you have to rise out of bed. You got to rise when you go to work. You got to rise when you work for yourself. You got to rise when you go out here and teach somebody. You got to rise. You cannot be woke no more. A woke person don't cut it. A conscious person don't cut it. You got to be unconscious and living. Understand what I just said. You got to be in your unconscious and living. Reprogramming yourself. Unlearning to relearn. Every person that I've seen uh, unlearn to relearn has transformed spiritually or you can see it manifest in the physical. And it's usually both. It's usually both. So as I'm getting on here today, man, I, I, I urge you to do your research. If you're watching this video, you watch my past video, do your research. Don't just jump on here with me and be like, oh, he got it. No, I don't know. Don't do that. Do not. And I advise that for anybody you're listening to. Do not just listen to one guru or have one mentor. No. Be diverse as possible. Because certain people are masters in certain things. I ain't saying be a jack of all trades and a master of none. But what I'm saying is if you have the ability and win the day and age where you can learn from multiple masters, you can learn from multiple masters. You can get certified in certain areas. So at the end of the day, we have the outlets to receive, to receive the information. But it's on us to focus and do our due diligence to sift through the lies, sift through the miscommunication and find out what is true to us. And then meditate within, within the God within us within the person within within the spirit within us not looking to an outside force for anything but within us within us all right and then you go down your spirituality journey and you see what works for you you see what fits for you you see what fits for you but well, that is it today that is my little Rant, man, just do your research. Do your research spiritually. If you're going to get into get into the spiritual realm, do your research. Understand what is going on out here. Don't just conform to something because you get emotional about it. Don't conform to something because you get emotional. Or you want to be part of the brotherhood, the sisterhood. You want to be part of the, the congregation. No. Do not conform based off your emotions, based off a, a chemical reaction in your body. Do not do that. Be adult enough to, to control that urge or to see that urge, wait till that urge is done, and then make a, make a smart decision. Make a rational, logical decision or a creative decision based on the situation. You get me? So, man, I'm done. Y'all know I'm at my limit right now, so remember we got the link in the bio crypto nfts um and also day trading you get in there we see we send the signals you can jump on that also 
Uh, still working on everything I told you guys in the past, in the past few videos. We looking to be done this weekend, so that is that is that is it, man. I told y'all by the end of this week, we're gonna be sitting down, going deeper, deeper into um, some of the things that I've already talked about, and some of the things where I'm going uh, in the future of everything. So uh, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I am ready, I am happy, I'm glad um, of what's going on in the spiritual realm because I see it manifesting, I see it manifesting. Um, and I hope it's manifesting in your life. And hopefully we can get together and start changing this thing, man, like they was doing in the 90s and early 2000s spiritually. And start, it start, you know, stirring up some waters, which we already are, which we already are, which we already are. I can't even say we ain't, I can't even say we not. But anyways, we out. Peace, love, happiness. Y'all be safe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Eee.